All right. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to go through in the steps that are needed to have a patient's uh, information automatically fill from forms to another spreadsheet, and especially to make it so that you can um, select the patient by either typing in their name or by clicking from a drop-down menu, um, and then their information will automatically populate to the cells that you want. So this is going to be the first step. There are five steps that you need to do. I'm going to go over each of one uh, in separate videos to keep it nice and organized for you. So the first step is to create a new form. So what we want to do is that we want to come into our drive, click on new, come down to Google Forms, hover over this arrow, and click on blank form. So create and share. If you want to make the information from your patient intake, you can title it patient intake. Automatically updates up there. First one. Here I'm just going to do first name and last name. Next we're going to do uh, date of birth. And you can see that as you write that in, um, Google will kind of look at your question and see if there's something that you need, and then it will automatically fill it in for you. Uh, email. Number. And when I do address, I like to have... Um, it's separate, so you can do street address. Instead of just putting address, uh, not all patients will fill it in completely. Um, so it makes it better to kind of fill it out like this. State and zip code. OK. If you were going to um, publish this to your website and you wanted patients to fill this in themselves and you wanted to make sure that they filled in each section, you could come over here and click required, right? And that will make it so that they have to fill it in before they can either go on to the next section or before they can um, submit the answers. They have to fill those in. Um, so again, you can go through and make all the uh, forms questions that you want uh, filled out, required, and then you're good. After that, you're going to come up to the top here where it says questions and responses. This little green thing is going to say create spreadsheet. You'll click on that, and you can either create a new spreadsheet, or you can uh, click select existing spreadsheet. If you click the selecting uh, existing spreadsheet, you can attach it to uh, one spreadsheet, so you can have multiple forms submit to one spreadsheet. Um, for us, our purpose is we're going to do uh, create a new spreadsheet. All right. What you can see is that it labels at the top here all of the timestamp uh, is when the form was submitted. And then you can see each of our questions that we just created have been formed at the top here. And so once a patient submits or you submit the information, it will populate up top. Okay, that's all we need to do for the patient forms. Um, and you do need to keep in mind up here in the uh, URL, after this D, right, and then uh, before this edit, this is the URL that you're going to use when we get into our next uh, step. Okay, so the next step is going to be connecting the sheet uh, to your template. Right, so this is going to use import range, and that will be available in the next video.